Congratulations to the two of you. You're outstanding. You. And your chemistry, oh my God, you can't <laughs> buy that. When did you guys n know that you hit it off? Uh, I, I think in his audition, Yeah. to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty much instant. I mean, I met Julianne and I was still auditioning and I had the screen test and she was just so beautiful and so nice and so easy to work with that it was, I was, I was, I mean, he left awesome. the room and basically Adam and I were like, holy crap, he's beautiful. We need to no. um, hire him. Now I don't say that anymore because he needs to fit through the door, but, um, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I am. This is how close we are I now, am. So. I consider myself the luckiest guy to be working with Julianne. <laughs> well, you made a great team. And I, I want to know, first of all, had you both seen the play before you did the musical or was there any? I did. I saw the play. I actually saw it in L.A. here. Um, and it was such a blast. I mean, like, we were singing and dancing, and it was crazy because, you know, I didn't grow up in the 80s, but I listened to the music, but didn't realize that I knew the words to all of those songs. And then I'm, like, in the play and in the, on the show, and I'm thinking, how am I singing along <laughs> to every song? This is awesome. So it was fun. Yeah. I didn't see it till later because Adam did not want me to see the musical because there's a lot of, I mean, changes. I mean, it's the same premise but different characters um, and I saw it after and I was like I mean this is an awesome musical and not an easy one to adapt to a movie because I mean the whole thing of you know Rock of Ages Broadway is everyone's drinking there characters are you know or the actors are breaking the third wall and those are all things that you can't do in a film so I mean Adam and Justin Theroux um, just killed but, it yeah yeah but here's the thing you both have the musical background but there had to have been a lot of preparation, I would think, to kind of change your styles yeah. and the habits that you already had. Was that the case? Yeah, definitely. We, you know, we were taking vocal lessons and trying to change our voice styles mm -hmm. and everything for, you know, six weeks or whatever before, and uh, taking, you know, just recording. I mean, it was it was a long process, but sometimes that's the best process for me because yeah. I love that you we are here working on a movie and we're actually learning a skill. You know, like that's my favorite. Thing. I'm like, if I could do movies where I just have to learn a new skill, that I would be great. Awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was, I like to call it rock star college. It was like six weeks of working with the best vocal coach. I had to learn how to play guitar, which was a dream come true. Now I don't leave it. Uh, yeah. Then, you know, working with Mia Michaels. Um, and, 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 and we were both there. I mean, we were the first ones to get there, and we went through that process, and it was great because we can use these tools for other things. Um, and it was just, I mean, working with the best people in the business, which was amazing. Okay, let's just start with some of those best people in the business. <laughs> Tom Cruise, need I say any more? Like, is there anything that this guy can't do? No. Not at all. I mean, the the, the rock star in, in Tom, I, I mean, he is a rock star. <laughs> yeah. So it, it was incredible to just watch him. Every time I see Pour Some Sugar, I freak out like a little girl. I actually still kind of am a little girl, but um, I have those butterflies, and I'm like thinking, okay, that is the sexiest man I've ever seen in my life on stage singing Pour Some Sugar. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> but what was it like, the, especially the final scene, to be uh, with that stage. crowd? I mean, let's just talk about yeah. it. On that stage, the two of you, there's Tom. The crowd is bigger than I've ever seen in my life. I mean, really, what goosebumps? What was Singing it like? Singing, don't stop believing. I mean, it was it was awesome. Uh, it was I mean us, I mean uh, Tom, Julianne, and I rocking out on stage uh, with a live audience. We were just having a blast. I mean, it, I, it was it was it was like really like we were at a concert. Like we were, I mean, it was, you know, a live audience. It was awesome. That was like the best thing yeah. for everything because mm -hmm. w everything that I love to do is dance, sing, and act. And we mm -hmm. were on stage with Tom singing, dancing, and acting in the movie. You know what I mean? So it was like everything, the performance aspect. Yeah. It was, I literally felt like a rock star. I don't know about and you. And the outfits but were yeah. sick too. Yeah, that the was 80s outfits, favorite. really? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, that was my favorite outfit of the movie. Everything else yeah. was like, okay, this is gross. It's perfect. <laughs> and the hairspray and the hair. And I didn't mind the big hair. I kind of like big hair. So okay. Like, yeah. Okay. And Mary J. Blige. I mean, really? You got yeah. to. Oh my God. She's uh, like one of my best friends now. We were so super close and love her to death. And we uh, we had some long, long shooting nights, and uh, where we would start at like six o'clock in the morning and finish at ten o'clock in the morning the next day. So um, we definitely bonded a lot, and uh, she's phenomenal. It was, that was probably more intimidating 
doing all the musical numbers with her than I think anybody else because she's just so brilliant. So. Is it kind of nice for you that, I mean, there's a little bit of dancing in this, but not, I mean, this is really yeah, showcasing yeah, your yeah. acting and your singing. So is it nice for you to kind of step back from that sometimes and not have to showcase the dance all the time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is cool, but I mean, you know, I, I'm a little bummed because of my big number with Tom, you know, where I got to really dance and really sing because everything else, like vocally, was very much like internal of what Sherry's kind of thinking and everybody else got to do like performances on stage. So that was like my one number where I got to just kind of like let loose and growl and perform, you know? That'll be on the DVD. <laughs> and there's to that. another yeah. scene too uh, that, that'll be on the DVD, yeah. which is waiting for a girl like you, which is, which that part is in the movie, but then Dirty Drew, I don't know why, starts, you know, having this Fantasy, fantasy yeah. <laughs> of uh, Sherry just, you know, on a very sexy top, kind of like doing like a little sexy dance for him. I mean, that was that was just naughty. Yeah. There wasn't and enough was, of Dirty Drew. Yeah, they they thought they thought that there was um they thought they saw Sherry as a stripper before she actually became a stripper, yeah. so they cut that out. Yeah. Um yeah, so That's what DVD is exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what's the craziest thing that you did or you can recall for the love of music? The craziest thing I did for the love of music. That's a good question. The craziest thing I did for the love of music. Um, I when I when I recorded my first album, um, I had to record ten songs in five days, and I was sick, and I had to have two shots every day on each of my butt cheeks, and <laughs> I had to pull it off, and that was purely for the love of music. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, this isn't something that I had to like pull off or whatever, but or do, but that was bad. It was actually something fantastic. I did a shot of tequila on George Strait's bus on our last, on with George Strait on our last show together because I opened up for him a couple years ago. So it was nice. like the coolest thing. That was for the love of music. Tequila, tequila yes. and, and music just like this. They do, they do. <laughs> well, I have to say, you guys uh, knocked it out of the park. Congratulations you, to the two of you, and you uh, keep them coming. You did a great job. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you.